Hello everyone, I'm Muskan, currently pursuing my bachelor's degree from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering in Computer Science Cybersecurity. Today I'm going to present on the topic of quantum and classical computing. In today's video, we're going to learn about what is quantum computing, what is a qubit, properties of qubit, what is classical computing, properties of classical bit, the difference between classical and quantum computing, advantages and disadvantages of classical computing, and advantages and disadvantages of quantum computing. So what is quantum computing? Quantum computing is a new type of computing that uses tiny particles to perform calculations. It can solve very difficult problems much faster than regular computers, but it's still being researched and developed. So what is a qubit? A qubit, short for quantum bit, is the basic unit of quantum information in quantum computing. Unlike classical bits, which can be zero or one, qubit can exist in a superposition of both states simultaneously. A bit can be of one or two states, zero or one. A bit can be represented by a transistor switch set to off or on, or abstractly by an arrow pointing up or down. A qubit, the quantum version of bit, has many possible states. The states can be represented by an arrow pointing to a location on a sphere. The north pole is equivalent of one and the south pole is equivalent to zero. The other locations are quantum superpositions of zero and one. A qubit might seem to contain infinite amount of information because its coordinates can encode an infinite sequence of digits. But the information in qubit must be extracted by a measurement. When the qubit is measured, quantum mechanics require that the result is always an ordinary bit, a zero or one. Properties of qubit. Superposition. It is the ability of quantum systems to exist in more than one state at the same time. A classical computer encodes the information in strings of bits which can take one or two values, that is zero or one. Whereas qubits can be encoded by the up or down spin of a particle and can exist as a superposition of zero and one simultaneously. When it is measured, a qubit will collapse into a zero or one. The probability of each outcome depends on where the qubit is on the sphere. Entanglement. It is the ability of the pair to exist in a single quantum state. Quantum entanglement may occur when multiple quantum waves are correlated. Before computation, data are spread across entangled qubits which are isolated from environment. After computation, the entangled qubits have processed their information in parallel. Quantum interference. It is the behavior of a qubit due to superposition to influence the probability of its collapsing in one way or the other. Quantum parallelism. Quantum algorithms can process multiple possibilities simultaneously, making quantum computation potentially much faster for certain tasks than classical computation. Uncertainty. Unlike classical bits, which are always definite, zero or one, qubits are subject to uncertainty until measured. No cloning theorem. It is impossible to create an exact copy of arbitrary unknown qubit due to the no-cloning theorem in quantum mechanics. So what is classical computing? Classical computing refers to the traditional way of computing using bits, which represent information as either zeros or one. It follows the principle of classical physics and mathematics and is the basis of most computers we use today including laptops, smartphones, and servers. Properties of classical bit. Binary states. Classical bits can only exist in one of two states, zero or one. These states are represented by physical quantities like voltage levels in electronic circuits or magnetic orientations in magnetic storage devices. Copyable. Classical bits can be easily copied and multiple identical copies of a classical bit can be created without any restrictions. Non-entanglement. Classical bits cannot be entangled with each other. Changing the state of one classical bit does not affect the state of another. 
Stability. Classical widths are stable and robust against external disturbances, making them suitable for storing and transmitting information in various real-world environments. Scalability. Classical bits can be easily scaled up to handle large amount of information. Bits can be combined to form bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, and so on, allowing for efficient data storage and processing. Let's see the differences between classical computing and quantum computing. Classical computing uses classical bits representing data as either zero or one. Whereas quantum computing utilizes qubits, which can be zero, one, or a superposition of both states simultaneously. Classical computing follows classical physics and mathematics, processing information sequentially through a series of logical operations. Whereas quantum computing relies on quantum mechanics and can perform multiple calculations simultaneously, thanks to the superposition and entanglement properties of qubits. Classical computing processes data in a linear fashion, limited by the speed of individual operations. Whereas quantum computing has the potential to solve certain problems exponentially faster, particularly those involving large data sets and complex calculations. Classical computing are well suited for everyday computing tasks and straightforward problems. Whereas quantum computing offers advantages for specific types of problems like optimization, cryptography, and simulating quantum systems. In classical circuits, the way they work is influenced by classical physics principles, such as electrical forces, resistance, and capacitance. Whereas in quantum computing, circuits behave according to quantum physics involving non-local entanglement, qubit superposition, and probabilistic nature. The operations are governed by Boolean algebra in classical computing, whereas in quantum computing, the operations are governed by linear algebra using Hilbert space. Classical data processing relies on logic and sequential execution, where tasks are performed step-by-step -step following a specific order of operations. Quantum data processing utilizes quantum logic and the capacity to handle multiple possibilities at once, leading to parallel computation. This results in enhanced efficiency and increased power of data processing tasks. Classical computing is mature and widely used in various devices from smartphones to supercomputers, whereas quantum computing is still in its early stages of development with ongoing research and process in building practical quantum computers. Let's see some advantages and disadvantages of classical computing and quantum computing. Some advantages of classical computing are, it is suitable for everyday computing tasks, it is scalable and cost-effective, and it is easy to understand and program. Some disadvantages of classical computing are as follows. It has limited processing power for certain complex problems, and it is inefficient for certain optimization and search tasks. Some advantages of quantum computing are that it has potential for exponential speed up in certain computation. It is efficient for specific tasks like factorization and database searches, and it has enhanced encryption and quantum resistant algorithms. Some disadvantages of quantum computing are that it is highly sensitive to noise and environmental disturbance, and quantum error correction is complex and resource intensive. Conclusion. In the world of computing, classical methods are like the reliable old captain leading us through known waters. Meanwhile, quantum computing is the bright new star on the horizon promising exciting possibilities. Together, they create a powerful duo opening doors to incredible advancement and discoveries. Thanks for watching.